Um, so you guys, from my face you can see I am excited, I'm always excited, especially when I have a story to tell. So, um, anytime you see this background, just know that we are about to just. So you guys already know that Sammy's birthday was just recently, so on the 11th of December, thank you so much for all the people that gifted him, thank you so much the gifts we are just coming front and back, to and fro, so I'm just so excited, thank you so much for gifting my son, I appreciate all of you, and um, recently, what happened was that I was supposed to share this birth story before his birthday, but a lot on my hands, you guys, you cannot even, I cannot even explain how busy I, I was that period, so but finally, I already promised when I made a community post to wish him happy birthday that I was going to be sharing this particular story. So, um, back forward to Danny's birth story. You guys know that I cried so much during Danny's birth story because of the story is a tragic one. So, I cried so much, but this one, you can see I'm smiling because it's not that tragic. So, um, there are not going to be tears in this story, I don't know. But I promise you guys that I'm not going to cry. In as much as I had some challenges, so but then we want to know how I carried Sammy's pregnancy, gave birth to him, and everything. Grab a, a glass of wine, sit back, relax, and then and I'll be right back. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So you guys welcome back. Um, to those of you that just seen my face for the very first time, my name is Sandra. And I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Oka, Anambra State, Nigeria. So, to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch me. To those that have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Kindly click the subscribe button. And to all my new subscribers, thank you so much for coming into my world. You all are welcome to my space. So, you guys, um, Sam, uh, Danny's, Sammy's birth story started um, when a um, few months after I had a miscarriage. That was when um, I conceived, I got pregnant with Sammy and then during the early stage of pregnancy, just during my early stage, I threw up a lot. I threw up, I vomit, as in, I will vomit and vomit and vomit and until there's nothing left inside me. Even when there's nothing left, I was still vomiting. So, unlike um, um, Danny's own, I just fell sick a couple of times and then I became okay. But Sammy's own, too much vomiting, like vomiting and spitting every time i carry cup around stuff like that where i pour my saliva and all that so i got pregnant and we were going first trimester i was sick off and on off and on but it was not to the level that i was hospitalized so that one passed and um i entered my second trimester during, during my second trimester i didn't actually fall sick that much just that i had some challenges you know as a pregnant woman then that one passed and my third trimester something happened you guys something happened when i was pregnant with that um during my third trimester something happened immediately i entered my third trimester i had this habit of eating and everything i see anything i see hungry me i would buy and chop you know mother was just doing everything possible to make sure that i don't lack anything and then i didn't have any help so i do everything myself although he helps me with the house chores and all that he helps me with the chores i think he helps me a lot with the show because whenever I'm in my third trimester, I go lazy. I become very lazy. I can sit here, eat here, and sleep here. Like, I don't know how to explain this, but that's just what happens to me during my third trimester. I can sit down here, eat here, leave the plate there, and lie down there and sleep. Like, any comfortable place is good enough for me to lie down and sleep. So, um, he helped a lot with the chores and other things. So. Um, fast forward to when my pregnancy was due, something happened and I had to come back to the village. Yeah, I came back to my husband's village and I had this issue with my co-wife. Yeah, anyway, yeah, something like that with my co-wife. Can I co-wife now? We eat. So, um, though she's late now, may her soul rest in peace. She's late now. She now told me that um, for me to give birth to that Sammy, she as in we had a slight misunderstanding. She came to the middle of the compound carried up sand, you know now, I was pouring down the sand and I was laying curse upon himself, herself, not me. And um, she was like, eh, for me to give birth to Sammy, I'll finish counting the stars in heaven and then count the sand on the ground before I can be able to give birth to this child I'm carrying. And I rejected that um, word immediately. I, went, I sent it back to her immediately because I didn't look for her trouble anyway. Something happened that led to that quarrel. What caused the quarrel was soup. You guys, so, 
you as in I don't know how to put this. If your husband's brother, wife, uh -huh. that's your co-wife now, a sister-in-law. Uh -huh. So, as in always take it easy. You know, she 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 took that issue to the level that as if me self, I, I began to see it as if we used to have issues, as if my name is a book, but we all used to have issues before. So for, for that matter to escalate to that level, I wasn't expecting that. So she was even trying to fight with me because I was pregnant, I was heavily pregnant. I wasn't ready for any trouble at that point because even to carry myself is a problem. I'm telling you, last stage of my pregnancy, I was just eight to nine months. So I wasn't ready for any trouble at that point. I was just so tired and so weak. So when I now discovered that she was out for trouble, I had to avoid it. I went inside the house. My mother-in-law said I should go in. I went in and I avoided that trouble. So when we, later when we came back to Lagos, she still brought that trouble again to my doorstep. She came to report to my husband that I was making trouble with her in the village and all that. Because she's my, she's my senior in the family. So they now, everybody now said I should beg her that she has always been like that, always dominate, dominating her. Always trying to let everything, everything works the way she wants it and all that. So for me to even question her that otherwise, don't talk when she was when she talks but what she was trying to do that day was not right i only tried to like tell her that uh, this thing you are trying to do is not good though. so all through that pregnancy sometimes we meet in the market and she'll be like she will spit on me like she was busy looking for my trouble to deliver that i almost fought her let me just be honest but i was trying to hold back my self and she had this issue of giving birth and the children would die she gave birth to nine children and all of them died you know even before she died she only had, she died during childbearing anyway. She only had one child because she had a child out of wedlock before that my brother-in-law married her, and now she had only one child before she died. So I don't know what caused that thing. You know, she was giving birth and the baby was dying and dying and dying. So um, now when um, it was time for me to give birth to Sammy, the clock nine months, the baby was not coming for ten months. Yeah, I was able to count because normally they say that eight weeks. Yeah, but Sammy was 44 weeks before I had him. So on that fateful day, the doctor already told my husband that I am going in for surgery, that the water, that water now holding, holding the baby or something is drying up, as in that millinage. So the doctor told my husband, because my husband didn't tell me, he only told, the doctor told him, so I went to check up. And then, when I was <laughs> pregnant with Sammy, every time I go for Antinenta, I've been looking for trouble. Why the pregnant women in the hospital be avoiding me? All the pregnant women will be avoiding me. I'll end up that I will not pay. As in, any, I don't know how this is happen. I don't know if it happens to any other person. Which, whenever I'm pregnant, my last day of pregnancy, I'm always troublesome. I don't know. Because any little thing irritates me. Anything you say, Chiamaka, this is my little sister. Chiamaka, my sister suffered in my hand that time. To the level that when I gave birth, I was like, oh my God, I need to apologize to this girl because she suffered. There was nothing she does then that pleases me. Even my mother, nothing that anybody would do in this life that would please me. Whenever I'm in my last stage of pregnancy, so. On that faithful day, my, my husband said uh, I had an appointment with the doctor. I went to the hospital. As we went to the hospital, I saw some women. They took me off there because I was violent. I was looking for trouble. I was not in labor, but I was violent. Any little thing, I would attack the nurse just to bring card or bring anything. I would attack nurse and all that. So um, that day, I went with my husband and my brother Chibeze. Yeah, you guys know my brother Chibeze now. Now, when I was in the hospital, I was making a lot of trouble. The doctor now said they should take me to a private ward upstairs. So I didn't, I didn't know that they already planned to um, operate on me. Although my husband told my father, according to what he told me, and my father told him that nobody should use knife on me, that I'm going to have my baby in due time. That they already showed him how I had my baby and all that. Already before then, I already know that I was going to have a baby, but because I've gone to many scans and they were all saying the same thing. So, um, I don't know if it's the frustration of the pregnancy being so long overdue that made me to go that aggressive because during Sammy's, Danny's pregnancy I wasn't that aggressive although I was being childish and all that but Sammy's when I was a little bit mature because I already had Danny years back before Sammy you know but during Sammy's when I was too aggressive to the level that they now kept me somewhere alone so when they kept me in that private world I didn't know what happened now I ate because then I eat a lot like I don't know how to put it I eat I eat. I'll be eating this one. This one will be hungry me. I'll be calling, bring this one for me, bring that one. I'll be disturbing that I want to eat everything. Then Chamaka was not around. She was with my mom. So it was my brother she that was with me at the hospital. My husband was so tired of my trouble that he just lay down on the chair and he slept off. Me, I was inside the room alone, sleeping. So when I 
why did this man put on this music now this is going to make my video to be copyrighted so let me continue so when i now um oh my god this music do i need to change the location now okay now so when i slept off on the bed i slept off and me waking up i i i was not in labor when i slept off but when i was i woke up for me to come down from the bed you know this hospital bed i was in a private ward for me to come down from the hospital from the hospital bed was a problem i could not come down i could not walk i could not do anything you know so for me to even stand up was a problem my waist was aching and all that and they didn't give me injection they didn't give me any drugs i knew it very well i, I was i still recall it that nobody gave me any injection nobody gave me any drugs they didn't induce me or something so i, I was in so much pain at that point and before you know it I went to the toilet and the next thing I saw water, that's hot splash water and blood. And for me to even walk from that hospital, because I locked the door, I was inside the room. So for me to even walk from that toilet to the door was a problem. So when I got there, I just used that force to hit at the door and the nurses now came in, they checked me and the first thing the nurse said was like, She was like, you should have told me that you want to give birth to this baby right inside here alone. This woman don't implicate us. The doctor will now say that we, are, we don't know what we are doing. What is even your... They started, you know, everybody, everybody started running helter skelter and they started putting things in place before they could take me to the um, theater for me to push the first second I already gave birth to Sammy. As in, just like that. My baby came and he weighed 4.5. Sammy weighed 4.5. He weighed 4.5 kg. As in, I'm going to attach a picture his picture here so that people will see him. He weighed 4.5 kg. This boy was so big that immediately we gave birth to him, he was doing, he was putting out his mouth, hunger. Because before I gave birth to him, I was vomiting. I have this problem that whenever I'm pregnant, and I'm in labor. Whenever I vomit, I'll have that baby. So even during Sammy's, Danny's own, when they were trying to use forceps on me, I vomited. And that force of trying to vomit, I was vomiting and they were using the forceps. And the baby came out. So if you've not watched um, Danny's birth story, I'm going to put the link in the comment section so that you can trace it and watch after watching this one. So immediately I gave birth to Sammy. Before my husband could know what was happening, I already had my baby. And they sent my brother Chibese back home to go and pick my things because I don't have I didn't have my bags packed or something so I they now told him this is where uh, what and what you are going to be picking and getting so he went he rushed home and on coming back he saw that I already had um Sammy and the nurses were trying to stop Chibese from entering the the room because you know I just put to bed and I'm still open and nothing covered he forced the door and was like after me for one name he opened the door and entered the room and my husband was still you know now a man he, he was man enough already he was out standing outside and she basically forcefully opened the door and both of them came in i was still on care the doctors the nurses had to cover me with wrapper and that was just it you guys that was just how i had my amazing sammy and uh, she was the first to carry him with that um they already they already, they already claimed him with i don't know if that that's wife or something they put him in a tray <laughs> all the stainless tray and me, I turned and I saw him, he was just there, plumpy and choppy, like, oh my god, all that pains I encountered inside that room. In a space of 30 minutes, I had Sammy. It wasn't even up to 30 minutes. And I had him exactly 7 minutes past 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Because immediately I had him, I turned to look at the clock. So, I waited and they brought out the placenta, cleaned me up, and that was just how I had my Sammy. So, uh, later when they brought me out, because I was so tired, stress of all the trouble I've been making when I was pregnant. I don't sleep at night. I'll stay awake and be looking for my husband's trouble, everybody's trouble. I'll be walking around inside the apartment. So the stress now, I now slept up that night. You know, this swinging bed, that was where they put um, Sammy that night. Nobody was around. It was only my sister-in-law. Yeah, my husband's younger sister, their first daughter. So she was the one that came and helped me to stay a little bit. And later when I slept off with the baby, she arranged us and she left. She went back home with her husband. Nobody was in the room from, with me that day. My mom was yet to be around because I wasn't prepared. I wasn't expecting baby. So my mom was not around. That night, Sammy now fell. 
he fell. It was as in I was hearing crying of the baby from my dream, the swinging bed. Sammy now fell on the ground and I woke up and I went to carry him. I was one that told my husband to go home to rest because that man he, he has been he went through a lot during that my pregnancy, honestly. A lot of up and downs that I may not share here now. So that um, later the next morning I started calling, my husband started calling people that I have put to bed and all that because I only told my mom and then my sister-in-law, you know, and our pastor there. When I, in the morning, the next day, when I now called that my co-wife, my sister-in-laws now, you know, my co-wives, as in the I now called everyone else. So my conscience was like, why not call that other one that you had issues with? Tell her that you've put to bed. So because I called everyone else, but I've not called her. So I started feeling bad. And then I now called her like, I put bed. She was like, it's impossible. As in, not really stupid. As in that, not zero possible. So that was the moment I began to feel like, did this woman actually meant all she said when she said that I will count the stars in heaven and count the sand on the ground before I have my baby? So when she now said that to me, to my ears like this, that now, that is not possible for me to have the baby. In less than one hour, she appeared at the hospital just to confirm if I had my baby. So because of that thing she said, I don't know if she knew when she said that, on the phone, like, you know now, something like that. I didn't allow him her to carry Sammy. When she came, I was conscious of what was going to happen. When I saw her walk into the room, I did not allow her to carry Sammy. I was conscious. Because immediately I dropped the call. I called my mother-in-law to tell her that this is what this woman said when I called her. So I was conscious of what she was, she came to do. I didn't allow her to carry Sammy. Even when she said, no, you tell no more. when you bring baby, let me, I said, no, don't worry, I'm okay with it. I carried Sammy, immediately I saw her, I carried that Sammy from the bed and held my son. So I don't know, sharing this story, I don't know how this is possible. For a woman, a fellow woman to witch another woman evil when um, she's pregnant or something, I don't know how possible that is. Because when we had that issue, I cleared it off my mind, I didn't have it in mind. I didn't have it in mind. Honestly, the majority of times that things, that things happen, they don't just happen. You know, they, they, some of times that things happen, they don't just happen. There are some things, there are some demonic connections that made me to believe that actually sometimes human beings can actually plan evil against a fellow human being. If she had not planned any evil, that is what me I'm thinking. I don't know if she did. Because we didn't talk again until she died. She never came close to me again. We had we had a distance. I didn't, we, we, we didn't get close again until she died. RIP to her. So I I that, that gave me, left me with a lot of thinking. I began to think, is it possible that this woman actually meant all she said? A lot of things began to come into my mind um, when she had her last baby and when she was giving birth to that baby, she died. Sammy was two years old when she died because she died one year after my mother-in-law died. A few months, a few months, let's just say nine months to one year after my mother-in-law died and she died giving birth. So that is just... Um, what the story is all about. That is how I had my amazing Sammy and to God's be the glory. You guys, I'm going to have 30 children. If Sammy's, if, um, if um, delivery, delivering a child is all about how I had Sammy, that means I'm going to have 30 more, 30 more children because it wasn't stressful at all. Like the labor was not like that of Danny that I had to cry. I had to go through a lot of stress and and humiliations and all that although we changed to a different hospital but then nobody harassed me nobody molested me nobody hit my laps just like that and i had my baby to the glory of god so thank you so much guys for watching this video um sammy's birth story and thank you for all the birthday wishes and thank you thank you thank you for the gifts god bless all of you and please if you love this story do not forget to like comment share and please subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll catch up with you guys in my next video Bye.